Good morning. I'm Pierre van der Rooyen. Uh, I'm the former CEO of the Animal Improvement South African Studbook and Animal Improvement Association. I retired in 2017, and since then we're farming near Brantford uh, with the Stad, uh, Bonsmara Stud Farm. It is the National Genetic Export Advisory Committee. It's a long word. It's a subcommittee of the National Animal Health Forum, uh, which is uh, representing the whole livestock industry and the Department of Animal, of Animal Health with the main aim to monitor and reflect on animal diseases and biosecurity of the livestock industry in the country. The uncontrolled uh, food and mouth disease outbreak in 2021 cost our uh, South Africa our food and mouth disease free uh, qualification from the World Organization of Animal Health. And this meant a substantial loss in income for the livestock, of, mainly for the, for the stud industry, because we all the protocols for the exportation of, of, of uh, our genetic material have been cancelled due to this problem, because other countries do not want food and mouth disease, obviously. All South Africa's breeds are highly sought after uh, from, from other countries but especially our indigenous breeds. And the main reasons for that is that uh, we, we are acknowledged for the, having the, of the best stockmen in the world. Uh, our, our breeders are very successful, our animals are well adapted, and, and they're good performing animals. And we're known for the excellent animal recording systems uh, that we have and that our, mainly our stud breeders use, resulting in the identification of superior genetic material. Why do we struggle to export then if, if our, our genetic material is so popular? The problem is that countries are afraid to, to take any chances to jeopardize their FMD status. Uh, and, and that's why we, we just cannot get the, the permits to export to these countries. And these protocols must be negotiated between the, the departments of animal health and the NA, NGAC now is, is working together with the, uh, with the Department of Animal Health, assisting them because they have a shortfall in capacity due to all the diseases they have to do, um, to, to look after. And, and so, so they, are, they welcome the assistance and we just assist in, in, in uh, getting all the information and then prepare the protocols. Uh, we are funded by the industry this committee, and we've appointed also two consultants that are internationally well known and experienced in, in the preparation of protocols. We have orders for million rands worth for Dorper and workout embryos from inter alia Russia, Kazakhstan. Our cattle is, is in demand from Namibia, Botswana, and Southern America and, and other countries. And so the committee con concentrated on these countries. I can now tell you that we're happy to say that the Russian protocol um, has finally actually been accepted by our department and the Russian department. There's just one outstanding request from them now to be clarified and then the exports to, to Russia will, will be through uh, and, and that will be very soon. Kazakhstan will then follow suit. And then we are also know that the department is currently engaged in, in negotiations with their colleagues in Namibia and Botswana. The Namibia Stud Breeders Association is also putting pressure on their department to because they need our, our genetic material. And we are now investigating a process where we, where we can have a, a, a formal quarantine station at a border post. So that might, might resolve the problem uh, for the for, for securing that the animals are clean. Uh, and we're very excited about that. And so I think people must just understand that the delays are not always on our side with our department. We're now waiting for more than a month for feedback from the Russian department, for instance. So uh, it's, it's a complicated process. But we are optimistic that our stud breeders will fairly soon be able to once more do business with other countries with their highly sorted after genetic material. And for everybody watching this livestock report, 
uh, it was uh, it was nice to talk to you and uh, all the best and all the farmers out there.